Welcome back to Banishers. We're trying to find the entity hiding in the mines. The mines! Did I go in here? No, I don't think we went in here before. We play games as we wait to die. I'm really looking forward to uh, finding the next beast boss creature. It's going to be a fun, fun challenge. And it appears to be these uh, miners and maybe people from the village that were locked in here by Pennington in order to um, quarantine them. Yeah, this is the way out. Okay. I'm not, it might be his family may be involved too. There was that whole area that I couldn't get to because I didn't have the key, right? Maybe we'll be able to take the lift back up to there because it was busted. We couldn't take it down. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. No point in speculating too much. We're almost there. This miner was shot. Was there a mutiny? There was. We failed. Why did you not mention this before? My heart felt apologies. I suppose the memory was just too painful. What else are you mentioning? Because we did detect that he was lying to us earlier, possibly. Based on the tone of his voice, Whoa. What is that? Look at those chains. This is no ordinary specter. Whoa. That's for sure. Perhaps in our pain, screaming to be free, we made change. More importantly, how do we break them? I see a weak link. I didn't expect this. That's freaking wild. This game just Ray, keeps getting better. I see a weakness. Let me show you. Ah. Well, it was down here, they're not like that. Oh, okay, here we go. Try this on for size. See ya, buddy. Watch out. Spectre position. Got him in time. Damn it, I miss. Another one. Put out that light. That's soft. Get in its face. Oh, I was going to say, is that? Preventing me from attacking with that uh, and Kaya, maybe. I have another in sight. Shoot, they're attacking. Classic Alpha Glutton. Oh, that's the wrong. I'm using the wrong. Actually, I should use Antea to lower her spirit points. Okay, I was trying something out there, but... Okay. Forget that. Back to attacking. See ya. Red, look at this. Ah, uh, another echo. Can't get to that. They told us to stay put for a few days, and we listened. When days turn to weeks, 
we made do. Now food's running low, and they've bolted the doors. We must act now, before it's too late. Now Pennington told um, the captain to make sure no one left, right? So is it possible he shot a bunch of them? I don't know if we've got that in our inventory. There we go. He stopped the uh, mutiny. The dying must die alone. Brutal. Yeah, it's getting even more dour here. More bleak. Wasn't sure if that was possible. Imagine how bad it's going to get when we get into town. Whew. Okay, is there another weak link somewhere? There it is. Got this. Oh, hello. Off we go then. Hello. <laughs> Expected more? Is that? No, that's okay. That polypore is uh, good for different upgrades, I think. So do I push that that way? No, that's the end. Okay, so we're going to have to push this back up. I like the design of this area. This is neat. Probably a weak link somewhere over here. Ah, there's something over there. I haven't checked this out yet. Well, you're going to come to life. Those who attack militia or nurses will be isolated and starved. I don't think I can get through there, but maybe I can shoot something? From this angle? Huh? Oh, I was like, are those all bodies? I'm not gonna lie, I played so many dark games like horror games and stuff that piles of bodies kind of don't really freak me out anymore <laughs> so desensitized oh any militia or nurse who takes sick let's join the quarantine uh-huh amputation story june 22nd last night i had to amputate a miner's arm he was shot during the attack on the checkpoint his life was not in danger, but he was losing too much blood, and Sarah and I could not stop the bleeding. Neither of us was trained in amputation, but I was the older one. So I did the deed. The sound of the saw on the poor man's bone as he screamed like a devil shall ever echo through my soul. Though I live till I am 90. There was much blood. Sarah turned and vomited on the floor, but I couldn't stop. I was already halfway through the bone and kept sawing until it was through. I thought that would save him, but he took sick. Died. His name was Gerard, or Gerald? Jared? Perhaps? No matter now. I've not seen Sarah since. My belly aches with the strain, I hope. Nothing worse. Sarah. Okay. 
There's the saw. A rudimentary saw covered in blood and badly damaged. Well, there's some nails. Didn't the other town want some nails? I love doing that. Uh, okay, but I can't attack that from here. Can I shoot it? Oh, I didn't realize I could shoot them too. I thought she had to attack them. She just identifies them. Okay. Okay. You were here before. Oh shit. Yeah, called it. Fred, we're coming for you. Ha! <laughs> this creature, I don't think you're ready to face it. Turn back. Why? I, I, I don't know. I thought maybe it should be. See you. Whatever is down there. What? Where is he talking to me from? All right. What did that? What did that break? She's just spinning around. Classic video game stuff. Corpse disposal notice. Quickly wrap the body in cloth until no skin is visible. Cover the mouth and nose for fear of vapors. Bury the body at the back of the cave and seal the grave with stones to prevent miasma and contain the stench. There's going to be a pile of bodies back here, guys. Also, copper. Uh, I still can't move these, right? I don't quite know what to do with them. Oh, wait, there's a switch here. Okay. Oh. Is there another switch that I missed? see it. I don't really know where this is supposed to go, but this is a likely place. Oh, it's not quite on, is it? know why yet though there's no weak link over there is there they can shoot it from here personal letter to my love trapped in the mountain I hear the food is bad, so I packed this loaf of bread and shall beg Terence to make sure it finds you. It must be terrifying to be alone in the dark, with sick and dying. I know you care for them well, but please think of yourself. Think of us. When at last they reopen the mines, I want you I want to see you walking out. Sebastian Priest's last reports to Captain Pennington. Sorry, not the captain. I was talking about Priest before, Sebastian. Maybe he's the one that uh, stopped the mutiny. Sebastian Priest's last reports to Captain Pennington have been read to the public, and heartwarming it was, too. It soothes my soul to know everything is going well. So, it didn't sound like those are the types of reports Sebastian was writing to Pennington. Pennington reprimanded him, and then either Sebastian changed his reports, or Pennington was just making up his own. It soothes my soul to know everything is going well, rough though he may be. The captain cares. I'm sure he'll stop at nothing to save as many as he can. I am proud of you. Every day I pray the captain announces your imminent return. Love you jolly. 
Here, Abram. Pennington thought everything was fine. Really? He lied. He manipulated them all. He must face justice. We want proof. Yeah. What do you need? The captain must pay. I'm getting the sense that maybe it's Sebastian that's... Uh, has a bigger part in this than he's leading on. Spectral stains block the mechanism. What if uh, he's the the new, the new beast? I need to get up there. Oh, that's what that's for. To jump up. Gotcha. I didn't even notice that. I like that it looks more like fungus growing. Up something spectral nearby. On there rather than paint. <laughs> Straight up paint. Uh, oh, there we go. Like in Tomb Raider. Wait, I can't like jump across there or anything, can I? Oh. Oh, I see. I see what I can do. Uh, shoot, but I can't. If I could push the... If I could push the cart... Along here, I could jump up to there. Maybe there's a cart that I can bring back. Well, let's see what goes through here. Let's see what ha what's on the other side of this. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. I need to push a little bit further. I think it clicks in place. First thing we can do is that. I can't jump up there, but if I push this this way first. Okay, this might be the way through, though. Let's go back first. To there. I can get up there and even if I could I don't think there's any there is anything up there Oops. okay hold on let me pop over here any who try to leave will be shot dead So, I think we'll be able to put a rope down. I think we go up, put the rope down, and then push this back over to there. That that lift for the cart. We need to bring it forward. That makes sense. I 
I wonder if this is going to go back around to that door that was locked from the other side. Yeah, here we go. I'm really digging the sounds in this area. Just a little clicks stuff. Then there's going to be a device to uh, wheel that, to, to raise that cart up. Got that. And what we do with it next, I'm not sure. Coming up, we can take a look. Something here, right? Ah, we can go up there to begin with. Now let's push it from this side, because I want to see what's coming up. Oh, big open area again. It needs to go across there. on this side. Oh, there it is. Words from the past linger here. Yeah. Their echo and probably another fight. I imagine this corpse is going to get up. Lay down your weapon, Prospector, and stand away. I'll not say it twice. Hear me. I'm not your fool. Obey the order. Put the pickaxe down. Your uniform would protect your son. Your officer will bury us all. He'll bury us all. He'll bury us all. He meaning Pennington. I right? don't think so. Who else? I don't think so. Uh. The chain goes that way. Could you reach it by those carts? By those carts. What? Well, rip. Maybe if I jump up on the cart, is that what she's saying? Oh, oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta do a little back step. Self uh, limber. See it. I don't think I can shoot it from here, though. Day will come. That day is here, guys. Think you could take on a ghost? Oh, 
bust in. What is this place? It, it's nothing. It, it's... It's only... The people were angry. And for good reason. Rebel camp. Okay, well, let's get to that in a second. I think we're about to find out Sebastian's shame. Thanks. <laughs> I couldn't quite read that. <laughs> Thought he was going to make a comment. Soldier's Journal, June 2nd. For the good of the wider colony, Priest has locked us in. Spent the afternoon organizing. Oh, they cut off. Look, they cut off the corners like in Battlestar Galactica. It was funny. I was watching. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the, the, the well, it was a show in the 70s, right? But the remake, um, they said that was the worst decision they ever made to make to, to cut the corners off the paper because they had to do that with every single book and every single sheet of paper that they used. <laughs> All right. Um, we spent the afternoon organizing the rations based on greatest need, who has the greatest chances of living. Count 36 patients, seven soldiers, three nurses. Pretty sure I can wave my advancement goodbye if I don't involve myself, so here I am. Who cares about your freaking advancement, man? I already missed the sun. June 8th. Priests kept the dying away from the rest and forbade us to check on them. We could hear them deep in the mines. They're quiet now. They've been quiet some time. It's hard to fight the Sullens, but God is with us, and we have food enough to last us a little longer yet. We shall come through this, those of us who are not sick. It's like one of those situations, like, you, yeah, you do want to isolate them, right? But it sounds pretty bad. It's so yeah, another gray decision. June 15th, most of the week, I guard the entryway. There was a fight. A sick miner broke Nurse Jolly's teeth. Two militiamen killed him dead on the spot. Temper's fray. Those miners still fit to work have downed their tools. The furnaces are cold, but the men boil over. They steal, and we punish them. Priest looks out for us, carving us out the lion's share of the rations. The better for us to do our work. Dying, hungry men do desperate things. Surely come for us. June 22nd. Come they did. Bloodbath. Nine men sent to isolation. Jolly started coughing, so Priest had her dragged away too. We no longer leave the barricade at the entryway. Priest spends countless hours hunched over his reports, writing and rewriting. I don't feel good. My skin feels hot. My lungs burn. My blood feels leaden. I pray it is the dust and the darkness. I wish to see the sun once more before I die. You can kind of just look up there. You can see the sun over there. Kind of. Ooh. Oh, I thought maybe that was a spectral thing, but I don't think you can reach that. shoot that from here. Or am I going to be going up? Oh. I can go up there. There's something here too. Note from a resistant nurse. Three strips, one bottle of spirit, one decoction against fever, one box of needles, and one spool of stitching thread. Come back in two days at sunset. Rock in the shape of a bird. N.A. Nah? Nah. Alright, let's see. Oops. An echo whispering to me. We change the guard when they bring the food. The old ones scarper while the new ones are still busy with the victuals. While they have their hands full, we take them. Oh, okay. Shall I look at this now?
thought maybe he'd make a comment. Ah. Hand-drawn plan of a militia checkpoint with plans for sabotage. Weapons, sabotage plans? Just how bad was the revolt? Not as bad as Pennington burying us all alive. That's no answer. Patchwork of hand sketch maps pinpointing the militia presence in the mine. And Lieutenant Reese Priest's stolen report. Captain Pennington, sir. The point of catastrophe will soon be reached. Following your advice, I implemented the strictest measures against the sickness. They have failed, sir. I now believe the disease unnatural. Even with complete isolation, new cases appear. My last men will not hold on much longer. We lack food, water, candles, oil. Soon, we will be on our knees, trawling the darkness for crumbs. I have hidden some biscuits and water. In two days, I will refresh myself and sneak out of the living quarters to reach the closed entrance. I will knock on the barricade, two hits, then three, then two. Be there, please, priests. All right, Sebastian, fess up. What's going on? What matters is that Pennington must pay. There is nothing else. Ration distribution. Two old loaves, five boxes of biscuits, four sausages, five candles, one box of flint, one powder crate. Save the candles, use only one necessary. Need medical medical equipment. One biscuit per day per person. One slice of bread per meal per person. Try to keep sausages as long as possible. They keep well and could help us when the rest of the rations run out. What's this? A black market shopping list. Can't be. We had few rations. Many starved. How do I get out of here? Oh. Confront Sebastian. Yes. Sebastian Priest. In the mine, you were to tend to the sick. Instead, you afflicted them. What? No. This is a, a heinous lie. I gave my life for them. You turned into a tyrant until revolt emerged among the exhausted survivors. They, they must have gone mad down in the dark. Their, their rage found a target in me, the, the captain's man. I died innocent. I, I died a hero. Mm. You lied to yourself, to your men, to us. You lied to your wife. Why did you really come back? I didn't. I, I never did that. It's not me. It's all a lie. I love Helen with all my heart. Pennington was me. You must make Pennington. See, I think, crime. yeah, he's haunting Pennington. Right? You'll not get away with this, Sebastian. Come back here, you coward. I don't think he's coming back. Path is clear. We go deeper. Oh, great. Um, so that doesn't work. Just looking around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That the path, the um, the way that all the chains were leading to, I think, is what uh, where we need to go next. But first, one more fight. Oh, maybe not. I can't believe Sebastian lied to us all. To Helen. Is this why the creature is angry? I would be. Perhaps. Sebastian wants Pennington to be punished at all costs, and I'm not sure why. Are we... Is this the other side now? Remember he... There was that area that was locked? That could be the final destination. He didn't want us to go in there. Christ. 
Christ, where are we now? Whoa. Or big chains. Just wanted to see if there's anything else. What's that body that we knocked down? I'm not sure how to get to that right now. I guess we're gonna go down. Going deeper. Miners. Left to die in sickness and starvation. Helen was right. This was an atrocity. But she blamed the wrong man. Prisoner's letter. I write these words to any who will read them because someone has to tell the truth of what happened here in Fort Jericho, New England, in the year 1688. I have stolen pen and paper from a guard in what is now my prison, and with it I shall speak. My name is Hazel Upchurch. I was born in Scarborough, England in the winter of 1667. My parents were shopkeepers. I had three brothers and my life was very ordinary until at just 19 years of age, I left for the colonies. I placed my hope in the new world. I arrived in New Eden in the spring of 1687 and found work as a seamstress, a milkmaid and a lady's maid. Having some experience with the care of the sick, when in the following winter, the train band struck out for Fort Jericho to deal with an epidemic, I volunteered my services. Lieutenant Priest readily accepted. The sickness first affected the men mining in the mountain beneath the fort. Lieutenant Priest had them walled up, under orders from the Captain Pennington, supposedly to prevent the spread of the disease. And then he walled himself in with them to care for them, as he would have it. He does not care for them. He cares only for the metal that awaits him. I've seen the real Sebastian Priest, and he is cruel. This brave hero walled men up alive. Few dare speak of his inhumanity. If I ever leave here, I shall do it. I shall speak, though I be the first and only. I'm cold and hungry. I believe I shall die here, forgotten. But this is my voice, written down at one day, truth be known. Sorry, written down that one day the truth be known. Sebastian Priest may burn in hell for what he did. Yeah, but Pennington still gave him the orders, right? So I don't know if that's totally fair. Right, guys? Starting to justify the blame. <laughs> the blame choice, of course. Right, that's what Red's thinking, right? I want that over there. You guys hear that? That's one of there's one of those things to shoot. Not sure where though. Um we need to do this together. Also, where are we going? Oh, there. Whoa! Try this on for size. Didn't expect that. another jump 
Let's see what else there is. Okay, I think that might be the corpse that we knocked down before. A lot of men were locked in here. Left to the pit when you're restrained by the fear of falling. I think this is where you saw that uh, totem or whatever, whatever it's called. Up here, maybe? Yes. Creepy little thing, eh? I'm really digging this part. It's got just a lot of atmosphere. The altar. The ten spirit points. I don't see any other chains I can shoot. Let's take a look down here. us to go down there now. Let's keep exploring. Off we go then. Very twisty. The sight of them makes me wonder if their resistance was even worth it in the end. You're standing amidst their bodies with nothing but silence for your answer. What do you think? Ah, there we go. That's probably the way forward, so maybe we should go down below. See if there's something there. Yeah. You can see the yellow. The golden flag leading us that way. We definitely knocked this down. did spot that. Oh, I think I see it. Thing that you need to shoot. I think it's right there. Maybe I can get it from over here. Oh, that's tricky. Very tricky. Ben, you really had to be on point to hear that and then remember that it, where, like around where it was. Luckily, it's pretty quiet in here. There's also that sound. That's these chests. <sighs> yeah, now, it's, now the sound's gone. Cool. And the void. We're going down. We're going down. Now, let me go back and look at this map. Sorry, um, this map. It's definitely outside, right? 
Oh yeah. And I have three poachers, two sentries and two soldiers and two explorers. I know Kim was asking me in the discord uh, how many of those I had. She was missing some. As fast as you can climb, let's go red. I think I might have missed a path I could jump to at some point, but it's okay. I'm not going to find everything. I don't want to spend like 100 hours uh, getting through this game. Reese's body. These must be Sebastian's remains. Curious. The priest said he was the last to die. Said he shot himself. In the chest? The ran out. But someone stove this fella's head in with a pipe. I saw the, the wound in his chest, but maybe that's not representative of what happened to him. This was no romantic suicide. This was bloody murder. Plus, there's no ghost tie. Look, the mark from before. No ghost tie. So why did he not pale and become a specter like the rest? Because he is the monster. Bastion told Helen a story. His prominent chest wound. Part of it. That's what we saw. But it's a fiction. He spun her a lie. I'm starting to doubt the lieutenant's ghost. I think it's an effigy of Sebastian sent to get close to Helen. Maybe even to Pennington. Huh. Not a spectre. Something more elaborate. But what? And why? God, this is intriguing, isn't it? Uh, through her beloved husband, Helen is uh, manipulated by a powerful entity. That's why she's so obsessed with wanting to, like, take him down. Never recovered from the death of her husband. A hollow husk created and manipulated by something is yet unknown. Sebastian Priest's ghost is a hollow husk. That's great. Entity. The specters in the mines bear a grudge against Captain Pennington. So that manifestation is the entity, I guess, what we're seeing. Some years ago, Captain Payton had an innocent woman jailed. Oh, that was some years ago, okay. Sebastian is a doll, stuffed with stolen memory, made by whatever lurks down here. leeching Helen's essence. We must tell her. Whatever about Helen. First we need to find the doll maker. I love this section. This is great. First we must collect this copper. So no, I can't shoot any chains there. We descend deeper. Creepy. Oh. Oh God. Turn your lights off everybody. I play this game in the dark, man. Here we go! Look 
Boom! Oh, he whacked me. Oh! I can't block that. Second tier. Lost in the dark. One by one they died. Oh. We'll soon be out. Together. The little boy and me would appreciate you staying close. How do I get that? Yeah, stay close to me too, <laughs> viewers. Let me know in the comment section if you're staying close to me here. Ah, oh, I see. I need to bring this because this is freaking freaking me out. Oh. Ah, yeah, right, 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 right. I don't have to jump up there. I just have to get on that level to grab it. I don't know if that has any other uses. I don't see anything up there. Okay. Oh, Gaba. So, how's life, everybody? What's new? What you playing? He slowly descend into. I know the stink the abyss. is long since gone, but I swear I smell it anyway. Oh no. Feel it. Oh, another chain. The chains aren't done. I would hate being down here too. I don't like heights. I don't like caves like this too. Their memory. This will do nicely. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it scared the hell out of me. Okay, let's see this. They left me here to rot. They'll not have me. The hell is that? Hi. Uh, guys. Oh, look at that, pulsing. Um, I'm gonna take a rest here, <laughs> and uh. I wonder if I, ha I can upgrade. Probably not, because I need, like, those special materials. It's a good place to take a nap. Oh, maybe. One upgrade available. The outfit. But I can also upgrade this outfit. 
Defeating an enemy with the manifestation increases the damage of next light attack and heavy attack by 50%. 23, 14, 11, 22. Oh, that's cool. Let's switch it up. Elite gem. Wait, what did it say? The crimson cloth of this garb has been embroidered with magic infused glyphs, enabling its wearer to be more sensitive and in tune with the invisible. All right, everybody, I'm going to uh, rest here and wrap up this episode and we'll take on the monster in the next one. I'll see you guys then. And I love you all. <laughs>